Hi everyone, Tracy Lynn from Hot Country Mornings. Welcome to our pretend cooking show. We're gonna have a little bit of fun. We're gonna change things up a little bit. This is our new country series and today we are kicking it off with Miranda Lambert. I got her cookbook, y'all eat yet? The Pretty Bitchin' Kitchen. I am in love with the recipes in here. And today we are going with her mom, Bev's Famous Meatloaf. This is on page 142. We are making this. Now you've heard her talk lately about how her mom's meatloaf got her two men, got her two rings on her finger. So she said, this is a, this is the meal that will put a ring on it. This is the ringer, she says. So we're gonna do Bev's Famous Meatloaf. I'm starting to prep. And when I watched uh, Miranda Lambert and Bev make this on their YouTube channel, they had a glass of wine. So I thought I am, Fueling my inner Miranda Lambert, she's come out, so why not join you? So Miranda Lambert and your mom, Bev, thank you so much, and all the ladies that are part of your cookbook. We are loving it, and I can't wait to try Bev's famous meatloaf. Okay, I preheated the, the oven at 350. Now we have some chopping, half onion, and uh, green bell pepper, good, let's go. Okay, chop, chop, chop. in my bowl, I have ground pork sausage, two pounds of lean ground beef. I chopped up my green pepper and my onion. So we're gonna add the pepper, the onion, the eggs to the bowl. I don't know if you guys can see this. There we go. Put it all in the bowl. Then we are going to add crackers, 18 saltine crackers is what's on the recipe list. So what I did is I crushed it in my little blender, put it in the bowl, eggs. So two eggs lightly beaten, put that in the bowl and Worcester's, Worcester's Worcester sauce. I never know how to say that, but I'm going to eyeball this. So she's saying one tablespoon of Worcester sauce. There we go. Looks about good, right? It's cooking. Anything goes, right? <laughs> and we want to put in our mustard. Again, another, I know, tablespoon. Teaspoon of yellow mustard. Going to eyeball this. There we go. Looks good and a quarter cup of brown sugar. Now it does ask for a half a cup, so you wanna save a quarter of it because we're gonna make a sauce. So there we go, add that in here as well. That looks about, looks about right. So half a cup of brown sugar, we're only going to use a quarter cup of brown sugar in the bowl. We're gonna save the rest of it for the sauce. And your food, Safe gloves. Okay, put those on because we are going to blend this now. We're going to make sure it's all nicely put together. Okay. Now I'm not a fan of raw meat, but hey, if Bev says we got to use our hands, we got to use our hands. So we're going to get right in here. Let's get in there. So if you had any stress today, now would be the time where you could get, got my hands right in there. I used all my love and I mixed it all up. Now you want to put it into a loaf pan or you can put it on a sheet and you can mold it into a loaf. I use these foil toss aways because once I'm done with it, I just got to toss it and it's one less thing that I have to clean. So our oven has been preheated at 350. You want to put all your meat into your loaf, which I did. Now we're going to slide it into the oven for one whole hour. And on the stove right now, I have my potatoes boiling, getting ready for my garlic mash. Oh yes, it's a Tracy Lynn special. So I'm adding a little TL to Miranda Lambert's famous, her mom's famous meatloaf. So while the meatloaf is cooking for an hour, we're going to make the sauce that goes on top. What you will need is a half a cup of ketchup and the remaining brown sugar. Remember, we started off with a half a cup and we used a quarter of it for the meatloaf. So now what's left, we're gonna pop in with the ketchup and we're gonna give it a little mix, eh? We're just gonna mix this. And when that meatloaf is done, what you're going to do is you're gonna remove it from the oven 
and we're gonna drain the juices in a separate bowl, and we're gonna reserve that for the gravy a little bit later. But now it's the ketchup and the quarter cup of brown sugar that we had left over, and that is for the glaze. Now what you wanna do is you're gonna, you will want to reserve about two to three tablespoons for the glaze for the gravy, okay? So you're gonna take about two to three tablespoons out of this, just place it over to the side, get yourself, just put it in like a little cup, and then we're going to make a gravy that goes on top of it. Oven, and I just finished boiling potatoes. I just put the little minis right in, right in the pot with some water, boil it up. I don't peel them. And what I add is cream cheese, garlic and herb cream cheese, and I just mash it up. And that is my special mashed potatoes mashed potatoes. So our meatloaf has been cooking for exactly one hour. What you want to do is you're going to take it. Now you will pour all that juice. I don't know if you guys can see it. We'll do it this way. All the meat juice in a saucepan. There we go. Because we're going to make the gravy. And before we make the gravy, you're going to take your ketchup and brown sugar glaze. You're gonna put on top. Let's see if we could just put this down. There we go. Put it right on top of your meatloaf. And remember, we saved about two to three tablespoons over to the side of our mixture. And now we're going to put it back in the oven for another 15 minutes. So while we have that in the oven cooking for another 15 minutes, you, we have that juice that we collected from the meatloaf. We're going to add our flour and we're just going to heat it up. Give it a little bit of stir. This is our gravy now. And stir it up until it bubbles. And if I haven't told you guys already, it smells delish. I'm very, very excited for this. Okay, so now that it's thickened, we're gonna add one and a half cups of water to our thickened gravy. Give it a stir. And now, this is where we add the remaining glaze to this. And listen, we wanna make sure we get all of that in there. Oh yeah, we aren't wasting one ounce of this. So you're just gonna stir this up and when it bubbles, then it's done. Here we go, the final product of Miranda Lambert's mom's famous meatloaf, Bev. It looks delicious. I put my garlic mash with your gravy on here, and now we're gonna try this. Bev, your famous meatloaf. Delicious, guys. You can get the recipe. Miranda Lambert. Y'all eat yet? Welcome to the pretty bitchin' kitchen. And oh my gosh, it is so good.